I've got that patch that I made in the last video and I modified it a bit and I used the quick save and it's sounding pretty nice. I even programmed something up with it. So now it's time to modify the tags. Now we can edit the tags either when we're saving, like when you saw in the last video, when you saw it come up or after the fact. And you can only edit the tags on sounds that are actually saved. You can't do them before they're saved. So these are the default tags that I saved it with that came with the original source patch. And I'm gonna just go reset all here to just start from the beginning and go through this window. So now with everything reset, the first thing to notice is we have this red line over here. And this indicates which of the attributes are compulsory, are required, and which ones are optional. The ones with no red lines are optional, and the ones with red lines are required. So for example, if I just put this up here and now go reset all, they're all empty. Now the thing is we wanna choose attribute types and then we wanna choose assignments. Now from this drop-down menu, we have preset attribute types. Like for example, I could put in author, and now I get a list of assignments that go with this attribute type, and I can click on an author to assign one. But I'm the author of this one, or at least partial author, and my name isn't in here, so I can add an assignment with this plus button. I'm going to write EK, and now it's in there. Now, if I want to say I also want to indicate Eric Persing is author, I can have both our names there. So you can just click on whatever assignment you want set to this attribute type. So you can have multiple assignments to the same attribute type. And this will all, of course, influence the searches that you do in the browser. And to remove them, just click on them like that and they'll be removed. So I'll leave those two on and maybe I want to add some more attribute types, maybe complexity. And now I get a new set of assignments that relate to complexity and I can add my own if I want, but I'll go level two, for example, and I can make those two, let's say, required. Now I wanna add some more attribute types. Maybe I wanna add genre or mood. Maybe I wanna add my own. Well, what I can do is go create new attribute type and I'll type in vibe just to show you how it works. So now I have this new attribute type and it's empty and there's no assignments for it. And if we look in the list here, I have this now at the bottom. I can remove that type or I can bring it back like that. So I wanna create some assignments. Maybe for vibe I can go funny. And this will be an assignment that's used with this type of vibe. I can go crushed lead feel. I'm just making a couple of these up to show you how it works. I'll add one more vibe, distorted fun. And it's good to have kind of descriptive type words here. So now I've created some assignments related to this attribute type, and I can add or remove whichever ones I want. I'm gonna use crushed, lead feel, and distorted fun. So those are the attributes I'm assigning to here. We need to usually have two, at least the factory libraries always have at least two. You can have as many as you want, up to eight. So you can just keep adding already pre-existing ones here or creating your new ones. Maybe I'll write for this one, I'll choose harmonics. And then maybe I can add my own assignment here. I'll write EK hybrid technique with, let's say, short amp envelopes, because I lowered the attack and the release. So now we see this in a separate category here. We can manage these assignments in this more field, and you'll see a bigger view of them. There's mine up there. And we can categorize them and sort them how we want. And here they're sorted with mine in the middle. And if I go category, we get this one in a different color, indicating it's a different category. It's a user one that I've added. And different ways of managing it like that. And I can go back to this view here. So I can hit save and it'll be saved with all of these attributes and assignments, but we can do a bit more. We can add keywords and this is also useful for the search. I can write maybe distorted effect. That's one. I can add whatever keywords I want. Maybe I'm going to write Monday. I want to to see all the ones that I've done on Monday. And we can even add a web link if it's related to a website that you want to be able to access from the browser. And we can add notes. I created this Monday morning for a video. And this will appear. Let's fix that up. And we're good. Now we have information here relating to where this patch is. It's in the user directory in the category EK Sounds, and that's the name of it. And I'm going to hit save. 
And now it's saved all that. And if we look at my sound here, if I look under info, we should see I created this Monday morning for a video. And if we look at my sound, let's go to the EK sounds over here. And we'll see, let's close this up. We'll see that the author is there. And if I look at complexity, I have level two there because that's one of the attributes that I assigned to it. And I think I signed vibe also. And there are the assignments for vibe. And if I go to info, I can go to the tags over here and we can see the information here as well, including the tags. See you for more in the next video.